It's Monday, August 14th, and AMD is not resting in their all-out push into both the CPU and GPU markets. Following the rollout of their Ryzen Threadripper CPUs that take aim at Intel, AMD's next target is NVIDIA, and the Halo product is the Radeon RX Vega 64 video card, which has NVIDIA's GTX 1080 in its sights. Let the game, or at least the gaming, begin. DT's Brad Burke slotted the new Vega 64 in a hot rod PC and turned up the heat. Seems like it's got the goods to compete with 64 compute units, over 4,000 stream processors, and 8 gigs of new high bandwidth memory. The card's architecture has been heavily tweaked, and in the end, it's a worthy competitor to the GTX 1080, even at 500 bucks a card. Check out Brad's full performance review at the link. Everyone's counting the days until Apple pulls the wraps off the big new iPhone, so competitor Samsung is doing what they can to steal some of the limelight ahead of the iPhone's expected September launch, including issuing a little teaser video for the upcoming Galaxy Note 8. The ad, sped up a bit here, essentially uses a silhouette of their S Pen stylus to skewer words they hope will more define the iPhone than the Note 8. The video also insinuates the phone will feature the minimal top and bottom bezels of the Galaxy S8 while wrapping the screen around the edges. We'll know more when Samsung reveals the new handset at its Unpacked event on August 23rd, with pre-orders likely opening up on September 1st. Price is expected to ring in at about a thousand bucks. Now, why didn't we think of this? Probably because we're not Google, but the smart folks at its Waymo self-driving car project have come up with a novel idea. If a self-driving car is going to hit a pedestrian and for some reason just can't avoid it, what about making the car softer? Sure, you could make a car out of beanbag chairs or rolls of tissue, but Waymo has smartly applied for a patent that would actually change the softness of an impact area ahead of a collision. The car's sensor package would be able to detect if the car was about to impact another car, a solid object, or a softer object, like a human, and then use what they call tension members under the car's skin, whatever that ends up being, that can stay rigid or easily give way. It's a pretty cool idea and a bit cooler than one of their earlier ideas to make cars sticky during an impact. We kid you not. Check out more on the idea at the link, and we've got all the rest of today's tech news at digitaltrends.com, on our Facebook page and YouTube channel. Be sure to check out all of our podcasts on iTunes or wherever you get yours. Thanks for watching. We'll see you tomorrow.